WVEC TV, Channel 13. And now, the latest news from across Hampton Roads with Kathy Barnstorff, Joe Folk's forecast, and Sports with Mike Fabrizio. This is 13 News at 6. A Norfolk landmark comes tumbling down. Good evening, everyone. The first American bank building in downtown Norfolk saw its last sunrise this morning. Just after 7, the almost 85-year-old structure came down to make way for progress. Laura Taylor was there. The grand old lady of downtown Norfolk stood proudly her last day. It was once considered the finest building in the city, but the first American bank building became antiquated and fell into disrepair. She waited silently to meet her fate. Implosion. 71 pounds of explosives that would tear through her already weakened frame, doing in seconds what it would take a wrecking ball two months to accomplish. Thousands turned out before the break of dawn to pay final respects and to get a show like never before. Just somebody just blew away everything. I thought it was wonderful. It was quick. It was well, loud and sort of scary. Control Demolition Incorporated, which brought down the old building, says this effort surpassed expectations. The company, which also imploded the old Monticello Hotel in Norfolk in 1976, prepared two weeks for the first American job. We were uh, getting to learn uh, about the structure up until you know the final day of preparation. We had no blueprints. And uh, we've just kind of had to wing the preparations. And it proved right. Within two months, the heap of rubble at Atlantic and Main Streets will be cleared away. And even now, newer, shiny bank buildings seem to look down and laugh at what's become of the first American building. But not for long, for out of the rubble will rise a new first American financial center, 14 stories of glass and granite exterior, leaving only a memory of what was. Taylor, 13 News, Norfolk.